video, I'll show you a bunch of cool ideas on the activities that you can do when you're bored. I filmed this video during my vacation in Barcelona, but you can do all of this wherever you are in the world. We just landed in Barcelona, I can't wait to explore it for a week and you guys are coming with me. Come on! Go to the park! This is our first day in Barcelona, we got our tour guides and the first stop is Park Well. An awesome thing that you can do when you're bored is going to the park. Spending a few hours outside will refresh your mind and body. Take with you a friend or go alone. Sit on the bench with a good book, spend time strolling around, taking pictures, listening to birds and admiring the world around you. This famous park consists of gardens and amazing architectural elements designed by Antoni Gaudí, a renowned architect and a face of Catalan modernism. But your park doesn't have to be world famous like this one. Sometimes peaceful hidden places can give us much more life and energy. Visit an amusement park! Got our tickets guys, let's go to Porta Ventura! I love visiting amusement parks when I have the opportunity. To me it feels like stepping into a fantasy world for a day and makes me forget all the real life problems. So take a fun day in your nearest amusement park with your friends and family. Enjoy the rides, the food and just be wild and free. I'm not a big fan of the super scary rides, but that's okay because every park has so many attractions to choose from so you can definitely find something for your taste. Get ready guys! I loved our day in the Port Aventura Park, the weather was perfect, it wasn't too crowded and the rides were epic. And now we're gonna take you guys here. Are you guys ready for the scariest roller coaster in Europe? Shambela is the fastest, highest and longest coaster here. I didn't dare to go on it, but my boyfriend did and he also filmed the experience. So enjoy the ride! I like discovering and learning about new places, but you don't have to travel to another country or city to do some sightseeing. Sometimes we live in one place for years and decades and we are so drawn in our everyday routine that we forget to appreciate all the amazing things our hometown has to offer. It's our third day in Barcelona and now we are in the Plaza España and I'm gonna show you some sights here. So be a tourist for a day in your own city. Explore the parts that you don't go to every day or visit the local museum to learn about the roots of your town. It's funny how we all want to visit the cool, popular places around the world when sometimes the biggest treasures are right in front of us. Relax on the beach! We're going to the beach! Come on! Here we are at the Barcelona beach and there is a dead rat. <laughs> That's why we're not gonna go swimming. I can sit by the sea for hours just staring at the ocean, listening to the waves and the seagulls. I don't know what is it, but I find it extremely relaxing and fulfilling. If you don't live by the sea, go for a walk to the nearest lake or river. Invite a friend, a boyfriend or just have some alone time surrounded by the beautiful nature. Fun fact about me, I'm a huge snacky person. We came here on the beach for one hour and look what I got with me. Some apples, donuts, already eaten one, and some multigrain biscuits. I'm gonna eat it all. Yum yum. 
boyfriend is a snacky person too, but not as much as me. I wasn't until I met Sarah. <laughs> I wasn't swimming that day in Barcelona, not only because of the red, but also because it was quite chilly and windy. Still, I loved spending a few hours with feet in the sand, relaxing after the long walking hours from the previous days. Shopping! Most of us girls love shopping, right? Well, Barcelona has a lot to offer shopping-wise. Especially the local Spanish fashion brands are worth checking out. I feel that even though these brands are globally present, the selection and the prices were way better in Spain. Anyway, more than buying a lot of stuff and spending a ton of money, I enjoy the experience of walking from a store to the store whilst chatting with friends, mom or my boyfriend. Instead of going to the shopping mall where all you have around you is a ton of shops, I recommend shopping in the city centers or on the shopping streets. When walking from a store to a store, you can also admire the buildings, the architecture and the city life. Barcelona is definitely a star in that sense. While walking the streets, you suddenly notice the amazing architectural creations like La Pedrera, which is a modernist building designed by Gaudí. The house has a unique rounded stone facade and twisting iron balconies. Another one of his masterpieces is House Batlo, where he used pieces of ceramic tiles to decorate the facade. We also walked past the world-famous Sagrada Familia. The construction of this majestic church commenced in 1882 and is estimated to be finished around 2026. Hmm, a real quick and easy DIY, don't you think? Do sports! When you're bored and feeling low in energy, try to do some sports. Activity is not just super healthy for your body and mind, but it will also make you feel fantastic. Visit the local farmer's market. Today we decided to walk the famous Rambla street and we are starting here at the Plaza Catalunya. Rambla is a central 1.2 km long street full of souvenir shops, cafes, restaurants and street artists. The thing that I was most excited about though is the market La Bucheria. There you can find an amazing selection of chocolate, sweets, gummy candy, ice creams but also juices, meat, seafood and tons of delicious fresh fruit cups. Those looked so yummy, I had to grab one, even though I wanted to grab at least 10. No joke. If you're bored, go check out your local farmer's market and try out some of their yummy products. There's always so much going on on such markets, I really like to just stroll around and observe the food and the people around me. While walking the Rambla street, I found a cute bakery shop and picked up some macaroons. We continued our way towards the sea and spotted a cool Columbus tower at the end of the street. These are our Rambla purchases and I can't wait to try the macaroons because I've never tried them before. I want to take a picture. I have a feeling that this one will be the best one. Sugar and jam and a little bit of like a biscuit and thing. I'm gonna start with the pineapple. Here you go. After more sightseeing we became hungry so we decided to try out something different. We had the Spanish paella several times in Barcelona, so that day we chose Macedonian cuisine. And here is the pita bread and I got the Greek salad. But you don't have to go to the restaurant to try something new. I actually love trying out new recipes when I have time from Mexican, Indian to Italian and French. You can learn so much about different cultures through the food. So I dare you guys try to cook something completely new. Visit a zoo or aquarium! For all the animal lovers out there, a great thing to do when bored is visiting a zoo or an aquarium. First we spent a few minutes in the Barcelona Aquarium shop where they sell a lot of sea stuffed animals, toys and souvenirs. But we couldn't wait to see some real sea animals, including sharks, so let's dive into the ocean. The 35 aquariums in the building are home to 11,000 animals, representing 450 species. The facility is divided in several sections, like Mediterranean, Ocean and Tropical, where we also found Nemo and Dory. By the way, are you guys excited about the Finding Dory film coming soon? I literally can't wait. Finding Nemo is one of my favorite animated films and Dory was such an awesome character, so I bet Finding Dory will be spectacular. Look at the invisible fish, guys. Here's one big bowl of seahorses and here's another one. <laughs> One of the best parts of the aquarium was definitely the shark tunnel where we could see sharks swimming all around and above us. I thought it was quite scary but very cool at the same time. 
Sarah, are you still afraid of sharks? Yes. <laughs> but this was pretty epic. Look, it's a unicorn. Sea unicorn. Thank you for being with me on this trip. Now it's time to travel back home, but we're just in time for some last minute airport shopping. Bye! After a week of Barcelona adventures, it was time to travel back north. I'll definitely remember this fantastic city by unique architecture, delicious food and vibrant street style. Hope you enjoyed traveling with me and got some inspiration on what to do when you're bored. Sunday! <laughs>